Hey everybody, welcome back to another Commander vs. series. I'm David Madarby, joined with... Danny West. And we've got my deck tech for this special Born of the Gods edition. God v. God. Uh, Danny chose Ephra, God of the Polis, for his general. A little Azorius, you know, boring control, whatever. Bounce I've, wacky. I've chosen something a little more gruelsome. A little, little more creature-y. On the Heroes v. Monsters spectrum. I'm clearly on the monster side. You're on side. the monster yeah. side. So here we have Xenagos, God of Revels. Um, there we have him in the middle here. Uh, he and Afara are kind of the two most hyped for constructed purposes anyway, gods of the new five. And we decided to show them off. So Xenagos, he's just a 6 5 uh, for five mana. But at the beginning of a combat, any combat, each combat, every combat, um, you, get a you get a berserker creature essentially. They get plus X, plus X, where X is power, and they get haste. That's pretty good. So this lends to a more creature oriented approach for Commander. Yep. So. Um, my deck is about 60 creatures, and the non-creatures, <laughs> you have about the, the rest of them are here. That's a lot of monsters. Yeah. So I want to take advantage of having a deck full of monsters. Yep. Um, so let's take a look at these three cards. Lurking Predators, Impromptu Raid, Killer Instinct. Lurking Predators is kind of the most common one of the three, because it's only green, yep. and any green deck can play it. So when you cast a spell, I get rid of the top card. If it's a creature, it comes into play. Uh, Impromptu Raid is essentially the same card, except I activated it for three mana. So I reveal it, its creature comes into play, and then it has haste and it dies. So it's like it sneak attacks into play. Yep. Um, Killer Instinct, not only an amazing Super Nintendo fighting game, um, <laughs> but it, it also sneak attacks the top card of your library if it's a creature. Uh, these cards are sweet. Uh, this I I think this is the best I've seen a deck utilize these three. I usually only see one. Yeah. I feel like Lurking Predators. We talked about Staff of Nin before mm -hmm. about how it sort of uh, gets under rug swept because it's it was in a core set one time. Yeah. Lurking Predators was that way for a long time. Long time. And it's in the last year or two has started to appear in more commanders. Yeah, because people realize if they're playing creature heavy deck and even if somebody blows this up, you still get a trigger. Yes. And creature, and maybe, who knows? Yep. Um, also, I've decided in this deck to have zero tutors. Okay. Um, the tutors you see are like these two, which are conditional tutors. Yep. No worldly tutor, no, um, you know, survival of the fittest, none mm -hmm. of that kind of stuff. I just wanted to have the more random aspect of the game. Yep. Like, these, these are tutors, but we'll get to those later. Sure. Actually, let's get to them now. All right, let's talk about them. So, we have Wild Pair. That's a fun one. That's a sweet name. I like to think of you and me as a Wild Pair. I'm not that wild. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. We are Calm Pair. <laughs> we are. Uh, so, Wild Pair is a six-man enchantment. It's like most of these are six-man enchantments. <laughs> it's Commander. Nice curve. Um, whenever a creature... Whenever you play... A creature comes into play, if I cast from my hand... So, pretty yep. much when I cast a creature from my hand... Sure. Um, I get to tutor... For a creature with the same power and toughness combined. Yes. So it's generally like four fours will get four fours. I like to call it converted power toughness. Converted power <laughs> toughness. That's a good thing. Good metric. So maybe yep. a three six can go get a four five. Yep. Who knows? It's yep. crazy. It's wacky. It's commander. You a four see four can get the uh, the eight zero. The, oh, the, yeah, the force of savage. Yeah. Right? There you mm -hmm. go. Immerkul cannot get a whole lot. He, what can he get? Thirty. World spine worm. Uh, is he fifteen fifteen? He is. All right. Then we got our Go pair. get them. Got our wild pair. <laughs> they are wild. That and would here, be wild. Here we have another card similar in the wild pair vein. Hibernation's End. Uh, it's from Cold Snap. Yep. I know no one's remember that set. It's I love set Cold with Snap. Counterbalance in it. Yep, that's true. Um, so Hibernation's End is a cumulative upkeep. Yep. So each upkeep, I will put an H counter on it. Yep. And for each each turn, the amount of mana I paid for that H counter, I tutor up a creature with that converted mana cost, yep. not power toughness converted. Correct. Cost, yep. But converted mana cost and put it into play. Yep. So each turn, essentially, my army is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because winter is ending. Yep. Green Sun's Camille of Upkeep. That's exactly what it is. Working title. Working title. <laughs> um, all right. So there's some of our crazy enchantments. Um, let's get to some creatures because that's what the deck's about. There are a lot of them. Uh, we need to draw some cards. So here are some cards that draws cards. Uh, Genesis is our lone graveyard interaction. Yep. The game's going along. We can Genesis and pick and choose what creature we want to bring back that you've killed. Yep. But since you're playing white and blue, you're either going to bounce or exile them. That's more likely. But, you know, not every deck that you play against is blue and white. Sure. Even though most should be blue. And Genesis is a good viable dude. Anyway. Yeah. He's a 4 4, which becomes an 8 8 in general. Yep, yep. Uh, here we have Soul of the Harvest. Uh, yep. The one key word that any creature wants with Xenagos is trample. Yes. That's what you want. Yes. They become, it doesn't matter how big your creature is, if it's a 50-50. It's the what's missing ability. What's, yeah. yeah. Uh, they block with a plant and yep. it just dies. Yep. So we have Soul of the Harvest, which has that trample ability. And whenever a non-token creature comes into play, maybe off a wild pair of hibernations end, Perhaps. I draw a card. Yep. So you draw a card. Here we have uh, probably my favorite green creature of all time. Oh, it figures. Oracle of Modaya. I mean, I played a little deck called Rug Ramp with Oracle Modaya, Lotus Cobra, Jason Mind Sculptor. It's a good card. Bef before it was cool, I played it, battled it. I may have gotten second at my first 5K ever. What a plug. I mean, I don't have any more fin good finishes, <laughs> so I, I gotta get them in while they're good. So Thanks, Oracle, Oracle Modaya, we all know that. If it's yep. a green commander deck, you probably should play it. Plus, it's a creature on theme. That's true. Yeah. Also, you will be playing with the top card of your library revealed, which may interact may with some, interact of, these with some of these cards. <laughs> Interesting how that turns out. <laughs> and here we have Gariqua, the Caller of the Beasts. 
Um, mighty, mighty man. The mighty man. You, you know what he does. Pretty much he draws cards and he cheats green creatures into play. So it lets me dump my hand even more. So many relevant uh, situations in this deck. Yes. I don't think I've seen a commander deck that utilizes this Garrick mm -hmm. as good as this one does. That's, that's how it's going. Creature for. counts high and they're giant. Yes. It doesn't get any better than that, that with this Garrick. So speaking, he's minus three kind of dramatic interest in something. Yep. What if you wanted a dramatic, dramatic entrance in your entire hand? How would you do that? I've got it. Eureka. Eureka, <laughs> Eureka uh, it's a somewhat of a combo card in legacy decks sometimes. Yep. It's essentially a show and tell that keeps on telling. Yep. Uh, you both bounce back and forth. Uh, Eureka is unique in the fact that not only can you drop in artifacts, enchantments, lands, or creatures, you drop in permanents. And what's the one permanent that's not one of those types? I believe that's the Planeswalker permanent. It is. I see. So I can drop in my Planeswalker such as Garut, Collar of Beast, yep. Darmy Raid, or Xenogos, the Reveler. Very impressive. Yeah. Also, you get to do things too, but, you know, it's not that important. Put in my In Vincer. theory, my cards are more, more powerful and stronger than yours because they cost more. Yep. But, who knows? Also, in Commander, you're going to have fun with this card. That's correct. It's uh, Symmetrical effects are always fun. It's yeah, fine. they're fun. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. Emmy should be fine. Yeah. And also we have Hypergenesis, which is the suspended Eureka without dropping Planeswalker. The same, the but different. The same play. I have one spell that can cascade into it. Oh, yeah? And it's red-green. I can't really imagine if there's ever a good red-green cascade spell. For I it. can't think of one. Yeah, no. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's balanced and has a, a detriment to any format ever. Yeah, probably. probably okay. so. It's probably fine. Um, also, another creature we need to look at is Commander 2013 Breakout Commander Staple, Bane of Progress. Non-bow. Non-bow. Um, I have, yes, I have some yeah. enchantments, but... Stop pointing at my things. Uh, well, he's indestructible, thankfully, uh, the general. Well, the he, won't, he won't get a counter, then. That's fine, guy. but most decks on average have more enchantments and artifacts than I do. That's true. So, I ran him. He's a good way to destroy artifact enchantments, but still be on flavor as a creature. i just like to say I like how angry he looks. I mean... You have an angry deck. It's red-green. We're yeah. like the angriest colors. Talk about this guy. This guy looks angry as well. Tower of Discord, triple red means you know you're getting angry. It's, we're upset. Um, he's pretty much he's a 7-7, seven, seven, and when he comes into play, target opponent shuffles up all their permanents. Oh. He blows up one at random. Oh, my. If it's not a land, you keep going. I hope you get them all, because this is fun. Ran you, come on. Come random. On. Yeah. That's why we're here. My old Nim deck had stuff such as Warp World yep. and uh, every other sure. terrible, expensive... Or horrible red enchantment you could throw. <laughs> Scrambleverse. Scrambleverse, yeah. yeah. Yep. If you combo off with Splinter Twin and Pestermite and then cast Scrambleverse, how do you divide the tokens? My brain just fell out of my ear. You really can't. And also we have Crater of Behemoth. Crater of Behemoth was part of the Sylvan Primordial dynamic duo of huge green creatures that were in every green deck and it was really good. Yep. They banned one, Sylvan Primordial. Yep. And then we have this one. But this one isn't as bad because he essentially ends the game when Correct. you cast him. Yep. So that means like, something's got yeah, to. Yeah, cast the guy, you're dead. Next yep. game. Uh, yeah. Let's go again. Let's go again. Yep. Yeah, it could be this. That's nope. it. All Zero right. There goes. Got yep. a rebel. That's pretty good. Then my general. Yeah. Lots of creatures. How about your lands? Uh, my lands? Uh, so, like I said before, he needs some trample in action. Yes. He needs the tramp stamp. Needs some help. So, here we have Castle Wolf Run. Yep. You might have heard of that card if you play standard in Never. the past couple years. Never. It makes the guy huge. Uh, interesting. I can cast a Wolf Run, a creature, to make him a 25, perhaps. Large. Combat. Double him oh my. to make him a 40 25. Oh my. With trample. Oh my. And That's hope. a lot. That is a lot. That and is hope a lot. will kill you. Yep. Skarg, a, uh, is, Skarg. Skarg is the older version of Castle Wolf Run. Sure. It just Castle Wolf Run for one. That's fine. I'm still, it's still fine. Trample's the important part. Trample's the important yeah. part. Because you can, you can make all the, the yeah. PT you want. He gives guys haste. He makes them big. Trample's the one mystery stick in the red green gruel beat down monstrosity. Yep. Well, shall we revel in it? Uh, see if you can police my guys. <laughs> it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Break well, out the batons. Wow. All right, let's battle. Let's battle. 